Hello friends, I think this is, in my opinion, the best technique to follow when you have a Rexis extension while performing CCC in a reasonably hard grade 2 or grade 3 nucleosclerotic cataract. So I'm performing the capsular Rexis after making a controlled opening in the anterior capsule with the keratome using the utrata forceps. The speculum is slightly adjusted in order to allow easy access for the forceps and as the forceps is completing the sweep of the capsular rexus towards the subincisional area, there's a shallowing of the chamber. I noticed the shallowing of the chamber but instead of filling the chamber with viscoelastic, I continue and persist and therefore the capsular rexus runs off to the periphery. The first thing to do is to put in some viscoelastic Roll back the flap, relieve the positive pressure from the anterior chamber by adjusting the speculum if necessary and then attempt a little maneuver by holding on to the flap and pulling it inwards in a centripetal fashion. Of course, if the rexus has run off to the equator, you cannot retrieve it. So what I am trying to do is make a nick on the capsule at this point and try to resume the rexus but I end up with a preemptive rexis where the capsule tears and ends very close to the point where the tear occurs. So this leaves me a small very oval opening in the anterior capsule which is not enough to complete the case. So another cut is made towards the other end and the capsular rexis is now completed in a clockwise as opposed to an anti-clockwise fashion. Now let us see what I do at this point. Avoid hydro dissection at all costs. The cortical cleavage hydro dissection will create a hydrostatic wave passing between the capsule and the peripheral cortex and this hydrostatic force can sometimes cause the rib to extend to the posterior capsule. Instead, just limit yourself to hydro delineation and make sure that this fluid wave does not hydro dissect. you create the phaco chop, this nucleus is not going to rotate. They'll make two small cuts in the nucleus. This is about a grade 2 plus nucleus rotic cataract. I found to my great surprise that the entire hemi nucleus just pops out because I have done the hydro delineation. If I had not done the hydro delineation, I would have got stuck with a nucleus that neither rotates nor lift up from within this epinucleus shell. The hydro delineation has helped to remove almost the entire nucleus. And you can easily see that the process of nucleus removal in this case has not taken any force to the capsular bag or the periphery or the zonules. The epinucleus is not going to rotate, so what I do is remove it by just angling the bevel of the phaco tip towards the epinucleus and then judiciously giving the vacuum in the epinucleus mode. and also using a little bit of mechanical separation in order to tease the thick epinucleus shell from within the capsular bag. This again occurs without imparting any form of pressure to the runoff point. Usually it is said that a superior runoff is probably safer than an inferior runoff because the inferior runoff bears the brunt of the phaco emulsification trenching and the mechanical forces of phaco emulsification. But if you follow this technique of simple hydro delineation and avoid hydro dissection, then a rexus runoff at any part, whether it's inferior or superior, and even to a reasonably hard grade of cataract up to grade 3. Of course, if it is a grade 4 nucleostatic cataract, I would not attempt this. You can easily finish phaco emulsification.
while inserting the intraocular lens make sure that you deposit the lens at right angles to the point of the tear in this case the rex's runoff is around one o'clock position therefore i place the haptics 90 degrees away from it between 4 to 11 o'clock position Capsular rexus extension may occur now and then and many times we have a tendency to convert to SICS but if you follow these few simple steps you can easily finish phacoemulsification provided you are handling up to a grade 2 nucleosclerotic cataract. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for your attention.